Hello, Tree Church kids and parents. It is so good to see you. Pastor Phil Vendrick here, and I am so excited to be with you for another great lesson. Today, we're talking about obeying God. Such an important lesson for all of our lives. So get the family around the TV. We're gonna have some great games. We're gonna have some incredible stories. And at the end, we're gonna wrap it all up with some great prayer time. So stick around for the whole thing. Here we go. It's time for Stick Puppet Theater, Southern Style. This is Noah. Yeehaw! Howdy, y'all! Noah obeyed God in everything he did. Whatever you say, Lord, that's what I'll do. One day, God told Noah to build a boat. No, not a fishing boat, but a really, really big boat. It was called an ark. I didn't know what that was, y'all, but I knew I was going to build it because God said to. God told Noah to make it big enough for his family and for a lot of animals. But where am I going to put a boat around here, Lord? Where am I going to put a boat? I'm not living close to any rivers or oceans. God told Noah that he was unhappy with the way the Israelites were living. They weren't obeying God like Noah did. Well, that's just awful. They should obey you, Lord. But where am I going to put a boat? God said, I'm going to send floods, Noah. They'll cover the earth. I want you to build your ark and be ready. And I want you to tell everyone that they should repent and obey me. Yes, sir, I told everyone that would listen, but most of them just made fun of me. They laughed a lot. They said, we ain't got no rain around here, Noah, forever. You must be crazy if you think it's going to rain, and then you think it's going to flood. But Noah kept building. A long, long time later, Noah's Ark was finished. Yippee! It's been a lot of hard work, but this baby's ready to float. Then God told two of every animal on the planet to go to Noah's house and get aboard the Ark. There were giraffes. There were elephants. There were monkeys. And there were lots and lots of other animals. Then God told Noah to get his family together and get them all aboard the boat. Ma, round up all the kids. It's time to get them loaded up. Finally, the rains began and the earth began to flood. The boat went up, up, up to the top of the waters. Noah and his family were safe. It rained for 40 days and 40 nights. Noah sent different birds to fly out and see if they found land. But several times they came back with nothing. Them crazy birds didn't come back with a thing. I knew it must still be a lot of water. Finally, a dove came back with an olive branch. Yippee, that was a long time coming, but I knew this meant there was dry land. The flood was finally ending. When the ark landed on dry land, a rainbow appeared in the sky. This was God's promise that he would never let the whole earth flood again. Noah and his family were safe. The animals were safe. All because Noah obeyed God. I did it! Great job, Noah. The end. All right, guys, it's memory verse time. Pastor Phil here, and along with me, I have Miss Amelia and Miss Tiff. Could you hear him? <laughs> Hi, ladies, how are you? Great. Are you ready? Yeah. Ready to do Ephesians 4 2? Yes. All right, let's see how good we've got it. Here we go. Don't, Don't be proud at all. all. Be completely gentle. Be patient. Put, Put up, up with one, one another in love. Ephesians 4, 2. All right, remember, you're catching that fish there. All right, let's do it again one more time. Make sure we got it. Don't be proud at all. Be completely gentle. 
Be patient. Put up with one another in love. Ephesians 4, 2. All right, let's whisper it. All right, here we go. We are going to do this fun. So we're going to bend down every time on our word. So when it's your word to the memory verse, line up as many people as you got. Do the word after word. Whenever it's your turn, do the word. You're going to go down on with your hands on your knees. All right, Emily, you're going to start. Is you ready? Okay. All right, yes. here we go. Don't be proud at all. Be completely gentle. Be patient. Put up with one another in love. Ephesians. Four. Two. All right. That was, that was an easier yeah, one. Yeah. All right, let's yeah, do it. Should we do it faster? Oh, yeah, we we'll do it faster. Okay. All right, ready? Go. Yeah. Don't be proud at all. Be completely gentle. Be patient. Put up with one another in love. Ephesians 4. <laughs> Two. Oh, we almost made it. We almost made it. Faster. Ready? Go. Don't be proud at all. Be completely gentle. Be patient. Put up with one another in love. Ephesians 4, 2. Woo! All right, keep doing it. Have fun. Keep adding people, guys. Work on it. Get it in your memory and in your heart, and we'll see you soon. Bye. All right, guys, it's game time. You don't need anything at all for this game, just your body. This game is called Pogo. So, parents, you're now going to have to explain to your kids what a pogo stick is, because I'm not sure. This might be coming back, but... So your parents are gonna tell you what a pogo stick is and you basically you just jumped up and down. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna set a timer. Somebody take their phone. You're gonna set a timer for 60 seconds and you're just gonna pretend you're a human pogo stick. You're gonna jump up and down as many times as you can in that 60 seconds. Or maybe you wanna start with 30 seconds and see how that goes first. And then somebody's gonna count the jumps while somebody's timing how the 30 second time period to see who can jump the most in 30 seconds. It's called Pogo. It's gonna be a lot of fun, but remember you've got to say it to play it. So everybody either say the memory verse together or each time it's your turn to be the pogo stick, you say the verse and let everybody listen to you and maybe help you if you're struggling with it. So don't worry if you don't know the verse very well, that's why we say them over and over and over. So if you don't know it, don't be embarrassed. Somebody in your family might know it a little better than you and they'll help you with it. All right guys, have a great time. I can't wait to see maybe some of the videos of this pogo game. We love you and we'll see you soon. Guys, I'm so glad you joined us today. Remember that obeying God is so important. It is everything that God wants us to do. Sometimes we think we have to know exactly what God wants for us or know exactly God's next move, and we don't. All we have to do is just keep obeying Him step by step, and He will guide us as we listen to the Holy Spirit in our lives. Let's pray. God, thank you so much that you are a God worth obeying that you know everything about us, that you know our hearts, that you know how you created us and why you created us. And that is such a great reason to obey you, knowing that you will take care of us when we do that. God, help the kids realize that not only obeying you, but obeying their parents and obeying the authority in their lives and their teachers and the police and all these, these people that you put in their lives as part of obeying you, obeying all of your rules. And so sometimes that can be hard for us, even as adults. So I pray that you help us with that, Lord. Guide us and show us when to be obedient. We love you so much, Father, and we pray this all in your mighty name. Amen. Guys, I love you. I'm praying for you. I hope you have a great week, and we'll see you soon. Hugs and blessings.